United States have, in the aggregate, made considerable progress. The friendly exchanges between our two peoples have greatly increased, and their mutual understanding further deepened. Our exchanges and cooperation in the political, economic, cultural, scientific, technological, and other fields have markedly expanded. But it should be conceded that the growth of the Sino-US relations is far below the level it should have attained. There have been ups and downs in the course of development, and there still exist difficulties and obstacles. 中国一向重视中美关系，希望中美关系得到发展。美国政府领导人也不止以此表示重视中美关系，希望这种关系能够稳定和持久。我认为这样的可能性是存在的，要把这种可能性变成现实是有需要我们双方互相尊重。都奔着考虑自己的国家利益，有尊重对方的国家利益的精神来处理面临的问题。中美两国都严格遵守双方在历次公报中求定的原则，理性各自承担的义务。中美关系就能够结束颠簸不定的。China has always attached importance to its relations with the United States and hopes to see their growth. U.S. government leaders have also indicated on more than one occasion that they value Sino-U.S. relations and wish to see their development on a durable and stable basis. I believe there is such a possibility. In order to turn the possibility into reality, it is necessary for both sides to show mutual respect and for each other to take into account the national interests of the other side as well as its own country in handling the problems before them. So long as both China and the United States strictly abide by the principles as confirmed by both sides in the joint communiques, perform the obligations each undertook, it is possible for Sino-US relations to leave behind jolts and uncertainties and embark on a smooth path. Five years ago, Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping said at this podium, that great possibilities lie ahead for developing amicable cooperation between China and the United States. This remains our faith. Sino-US relations are now at an important juncture. As Americans would say, they are faced with big challenges and great opportunities as well. We should bravely accept the challenges and make full use of the opportunities. The world situation is at present more turbulent. The people of all countries are deeply worried about the future of the world. The United States and China, both being big countries, should be aware of their heavy responsibility for the maintenance of world peace. In the next few days, I shall hold talks with President Reagan and other leaders of your government and exchange views with them on ways to develop Sino-US relations and on international issues of common interest. We never construe the significance of Sino-US relations as being limited to ordinary bilateral relations, but regard them as an important affair affecting the overall world situation. 
We stand for peace, not only because China needs peace, friendship, and economic development, but also because people of all countries want peace, friendship, and development. The amicable coexistence of China and the United States is a major factor for maintaining world peace and stability. As long as the peoples of the world take their destiny into their own hands, it will be possible to maintain world peace and prevent a new world war. 总统先生，在这个庄严的讲台上，我感到亿万人民的眼睛在注视着我们，期待我们对发展中美关系和维护世界和平事业做出贡献。我们不应该辜负他们的期望。我刚才提到，今天是中美开始建交的二百周年。我是，这是一个人民往往要进行回忆和前瞻的时刻。我相信，历史将教会我们更加友好的相处。我祝愿美国人民幸福，祝愿中美关系稳定持久的向前发展。谢谢大家。Mr. President, at this solemn podium. I feel that hundreds of millions of people are watching us. They expect us to make contributions to the development of Sino-US relations and to the cause of maintaining world peace. We should not disappoint them. As I said just now, this year is the bicentenary of the beginning of contacts between China and the United States. This is an occasion for reviewing the past and looking ahead to the future. I believe that with the study of history, we will learn to live together better in amity. I wish happiness to the American people and steady and sustained development of the Sino-US relations. Thank you. Ceremony.